As part of our continued research into the Internet of Things, we have developed a smart car parking solution here at our HQ in Oxford. This is a multifaceted experiment, but the core of it is to prove how well suited our IoT tools are to a new application. Smart car parking is a rapidly growing industry, and like many smart city applications, it's about making the most of finite resources. In this experiment, we've deployed over 100 of these N-Wave car parking sensors. The system works by detecting changes in the magnetic field above it and then sends a short radio message to an antenna mounted on our HQ over there. Our IoT tools are communications agnostic, but we chose M-Way for this experiment because of their focus on smart car parking and their expertise in wide area low power networks. At N-Wave, we developed cutting-edge, low-power, long-range communication technology that allows millions of things to be connected. But getting data from the field is not enough. In order to change the world for the better, you need to build great apps that people can use. This is why we partnered with Luminet and used their IoT tools to build parking application. The generic software tools we built for the Oxford Flood Network made it very easy for us to integrate rapidly with the N-Wave technology, utilising our unique DNS-based IoT registry. River flooding and car parking may appear to be very different problems, but they're fundamentally very similar. Both involve taking measurements over time of geographical objects, whether it's a stretch of river or a rectangular car parking space. We have developed a framework for showing interactive data visualisations which can be customised to these and other use cases. The whole process has been rapid and painless, moving from concept to deployment in a matter of weeks. We will continue to explore new applications for our IoT tools. And if you are building an IoT application and you'd like to use our tools to accelerate your deployment, then contact me at adam.leach at nominet.uk.